So today the earth turns 2018. Our little girl's growing up big and big. She's no longer looking thick, just plain fat. You know that threshold you cross where you start getting the cellulose all over you and food on your shirt and shit. But at least she watches Spice and Wolf and smokes weed and she brought her Switch to her own birthday party with Zelda, yeah! Earth was in her goth phase this year, giving a Shia LaBeouf holding some ritual in New York that got shut down because Shia hates hats. He moved the project to several remote locations and Autism Teen Frog Force shut it down by triangulating flight patterns and animal noises and shit further cementing my theory that we are already living in the cyberpunk timeline. Oh yeah, speaking of that, Donnie T is now our head nigga in charge, ruler of the greatest goddamn nation on the planet. So far, we bombed the shit out of ISIS. Was it this year that South Korea LARPed as an IRL anime and some InfoWars level shit where it turns out the president was baptized in blood and groomed by a chamber of 13 elders or something, or was that last year? I feel like some big Asian shit happened and I, I can't remember. They all kind of look the same to me and I can never really tell what's going on, but then again, neither can the iPhone. A couple of weeks ago, we had a terrorist write a Facebook status that said, Trump, you failed to protect your nation, and proceeded to blow off his cock and balls in a subway and made a bunch of people watch, which was kind of weird. We also broke the IRL high score for the biggest mass shooting shooting in history not caused by illegitimate communism, so suck my fucking dick, Jim Jeffries, you pucker-faced puzzle piece. The Jerusalem fanfic was made canon by Dad, and they named a train after him. What else we got? Kid Rock gave us just a tip, and remembered he left a stove on and left. Oh yeah, and then there was that Lawbreakers game that, uh... In some thick, juicy, gushing irony, feminist Marxists have finally driven men to produce sex robots to replace them, proving that capitalism prevails, and fat, bitchy cunts better get a gym membership or acquire a taste for spare change and hood. Sweden is still the worst place on the planet Earth. The Bitcoin bubble brought forth a new class of society called No Coiners, who were left mourning until Bitcoin tripped on the quarter inch and showed us its rice bowl. Anime Thesis hit 500,000 views, retaining its title as the most impressive thing I've ever done. Ajit, lean with it, rock with it, pie, looked a campaign that would make him into the most hated man on the planet in the face and said, fuck Reddit. Pretty much all of Hollywood was a pedophile ring, so Alex Jones was right again. God damn it! I think my favorite part, uh, was this.